Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 55, a 1967 Shelby GT350 in Wimbledon white with Guardsman Blue Le Mans stripes. So this is the first 67 GT350 that we've built. What's special about that? Well, back in 1967, the big news for Ford was, in addition to the new body style, the availability for the first time of a big block V8 engine. Now the muscle car wars were heating up, uh, everything was about power and there's no replacement for displacement so big block was the way to go. Now the biggest engine you could get in the Mustang was the 390 V8 but Carroll Shelby decided to take that a step further. So for his top of the line Mustang in 67 he put in the big block 428 cubic inch engine with dual four barrels and some other performance enhancing features. The GT350 remained in the lineup using the high performance 289 engine that had been used in the, the 66 GT350. So in a way the 67 GT350 was kind of overshadowed by its big brother but that's not really fair. It was a great car in its own right. For the Revology 67 Shelby lineup we've taken a similar approach with the two-tiered powertrain but of course, we use all modern powertrains. So our GT350 is powered by the Ford TIVCT 5 liter V8, also known as the Coyote. This is the Gen 3 version of the Coyote. This engine revs to 7,500 RPM and puts out 460 horsepower and 420 pounds-feet of torque. Our GT500 is powered by the Roush RSC 5 liter, which is based on Ford's Gen 3 Coyote engine, but is supercharged and intercooled. And this engine puts out 710 horsepower and 610 pounds-feet of torque. Now it revs to 6,500 RPM, so it's a lower revving engine. Uh, it has more torque, obviously. The, the feel is different. Just the way that it drives is different. I mean, this car is a high revving car. I mean, it just... It just encourages you to rev and to, and to run and to spin the engine up. It's just a lot of fun. They both have their own rightful place in the Revology lineup. So I'm, you know, I'm excited that we're starting to build GT350s. I think uh, it's, it's more of a road race car, whereas the GT500 is, I don't want to say it's a straight line car because it's not. It's kind of, you know, but, but it isn't quite, it doesn't quite feel as light as the GT350. So, you know, everything is a, is a balance, you know, in, in, in engineering, automotive or anything. And, you know, you make trade-offs and try to find the right blend of attributes that, uh, you know, provide the, the experience you're looking for. And for street driving, 460 horsepower in a car that weighs less than 3,500 pounds, it's a lot of fun.